In this video, I was asked to recreate a interaction that was seen on Dribbble. And I've linked to the Dribbble shot in the description of this video, so be sure to follow the author and give it a like. This is a cool example because it uses some more advanced transition designer concepts like connected layers, reusing transitions, pulling layers out, and you can see how if you are a master of the transition designer, you can create a fairly complex transition like this in just a matter of minutes. And if you're not familiar with some of these concepts, be sure to go back and watch some of our more fundamental videos on topics like connected layers or just using the transition designer in general. And I'll link to a couple of those in the, in the description as well. Also note that this is the first time I attempted to build this transition. I looked at the dribble shot, I drew the screens, and then I started recording. So I didn't even have a practice run here, which I think shows the power of the transition designer to allow you to pretty easily put together even a pretty complex set of transitions like this. In one of my last videos, Jelly Banana asked if I could recreate a transition that she saw here by Aurelian Salomon on Dribble. And this Dribble shot has a lot of cool transitions in it. You can see it goes from one state to another. It's got this swipe, you can swipe up. So there's a lot of different things going on. Well, I'm gonna take at least part of that and maybe I'll make a second video that does, does the other half of it. So here in Sketch, I've recreated some of those screens. And so I've drawn simple versions of the screens. It doesn't have all the details, but we can at least focus on the animations. So I'm gonna use Flinto Sketch plugin to send my sketch document into Flinto. Here I am with my screens inside Flinto. And the first thing I wanna do is create the swipe transition between this screen with the orange header and this screen with the purple header. So I'm gonna create one big link across the entire screen. I'm gonna use the draw link button, click and drag to draw one big link, and then target the other screen, and this will be activated by a left swipe. I'm gonna make a new transition, and the default transition in the transition designer is sort of close to the end result that I want. However, the headers should do more of a crossfade. So what I'm gonna do is take the header from one of the screens, drag it up to the top of the layer list. And what that does is positions it relative to the screen frame in the center here, rather than to the screen it was on. See how it stays put? I'm gonna take the header from the start screen and do the same thing. So now the headers stay put. If I connect the background layers of these headers, so I'm gonna find the rectangle background for the purple one and for the orange one. And by holding command, I can select both of those and then I'll click connect layers. Now, because I've connected those rectangles together, they do a nice color animation, but I can still only see the science header. And I would like to see both of the contents of both the headers. And the reason I can't see the other header is because the backgrounds are blocking it. So you can see here the connected layers for the background are both inside of the group that's on top, the header that's on top. Well, fortunately, if you select one of the connected layers, there's an option here for Z index, and you can say match to higher or match to lower. And if I put match to lower, that will move both the connected layers into the position of whichever of them was lower in the Z index. So now you can see that that background animation is happening and I can see all the content from both the headers on top of it, which is good because I wanna be able to manipulate these elements. So at the start of the transition, I'm gonna have science over here and fade it out. At the end of the transition, I'm gonna have gaming over here and fade it out. So you can see how this is starting to come together. The next thing I'm gonna do is hide all of these little indicators from the end screen. And because there's two sets of them on top of each other, I'm just gonna use the ones from the start screen since they look almost identical, but I need to change which one is active. See that? So in the end state, I just changed the indicators so that the second one is active. Now I have the search and arrow icons up here in the header, and I should probably hide those too because again, they're overlapped, but they look exactly the same. The, there's two arrows on top of each other and two searches on top of each other. So by hiding those, we'll just see one and it prevents any kind of uh, double layered effect where they look slightly fatter. So that's basically it. I wanna set gaming as the home screen. Then I'll open the preview and try this out. Now I need a way to get back. So I can draw a link. I'm using the D shortcut for draw link. Draw a link over the whole screen, target the other screen, and this time use right swipe. And then I'll use that same transition. And I'll check this box here for reverse transition because it's going in the other direction. 
Now I can swipe both directions. All right, now let's try setting up this other transition where we can go from the science screen to the swipe down version where the header gets really big. So I'm gonna select the big link on the science screen. Then I'm gonna hold shift and click create link. Holding shift allows me to create an additional link. I'll target the big science screen and I'm gonna use a down swipe and then create a new transition. For this transition, I'm going to align the screens. I'll click the align screens checkbox. And now I wanna make this end screen that I'm looking at look like the start screen so that the transition starts with the start screen. And again, I think I can just connect the header backgrounds. So there's a header in the end screen and header in the start screen, and they each have a background rectangle. I'll connect those layers and you can see how that now expands. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is connect the word science in both screens. So I'll select both science uh, layers, connect them, and now that happens automatically. All right, now just like before, we've got this arrow and search which are redundant. There's, there's one in each screen, so I'm just gonna hide those. Okay, the one other thing to account for is these words that fade in for the other sections. And so I'm gonna select both of those, bring them up here and fade them out. Now I just remembered in the collapsed header, there's this set of indicators. They're all inside of this group here and I can't see them because they're being covered by the other screen. So maybe if I drag those to the top of the layer list, now I can see them so I've selected the indicator that's in the big state and the highlighted indicator for the collapsed state, and I'm gonna connect those. See how it animates right out from there? Those two layers are connected. So now I can just account for these remaining indicators that need to go away. I'm gonna have them slide down with, with the other one, but they'll fade out. So watching this in slow motion can help us to make sure that everything looks nice and that looks pretty good. The other thing I have to account for is these content areas. So you can see the content here is overlapping, but if I connect those two groups, now that animates correctly. And there's one more thing, which is this subhead area that has popular and this week labels. And again, I can just connect those. So I'm selecting the subhead in both layers, in both screens, sorry. And it looks the same in both screens. So I connect those. And I think that completes the transition. All right, so I'll exit out of the transition designer and I have my link going to the big science screen and then I just need a link going back to science. So that will be a swipe up and it'll use that transition that we just created in reverse. Okay, back to the preview. I can swipe over here, swipe back, swipe back once again, and I can swipe down now for that new transition we just created, and I can swipe back up. So of course there's more to this overall interaction that we saw in that dribble shot, like being able to swipe from this state. Uh, I didn't set that up yet because I don't want this video to go on too long, but maybe in the future I'll, I'll do that. And there was also another cool interaction where you can swipe down once more from this screen and this purple area turns into a card and all of the other sections turn into cards as well. So maybe in a future video.